Hey there, today we'll be discussing how to delete elements we've already inserted in our table using chaining without replacement. So for that matter, we'll first insert these particular elements in our table. So yes, our function is modulo of number of buckets here, number of buckets I've taken 10 and we'll, we'll use linear probing. So 21 goes to the first bucket then 42, 42 goes to the second bucket, 31, it should have gone to the first bucket only but as there is only one slot we will have to linearly probe it to the third bucket and we will link it, ok, we will link similar bucket elements together. So we will update the chain field of the previous element of the same bucket that is 21 chain field we will update to be 3. Then we have to insert 55 which is directly inserted at 5 index. 71 goes over here, linear probing, update previous elements index. Okay. Then 65, linear probing and updation. So now we have uh, entered these particular elements in our table. Now suppose I have to delete 21 okay so for that matter i will start searching where will i obtain 21 i'll start searching from the zeroth bucket i search okay it doesn't match i go to the first okay first bucket and there's a match so now uh, i have to delete this so i'll just replace this particular data field with none and i'll set its chain field as minus one okay but see this was the first element okay first element in our chain first element in our chain for bucket number one but if i let's say if i want to delete 31 i go for linear searching from the zeroth bucket i search and then i come to the first bucket okay so these both of these uh, see 21 and 31 belong to the same bucket so now I'll stop linear searching, I'll go for chain searching. So I'll follow its chain field. Okay, three, so I land over here. So now for deleting 31, I can't just do only this much. Okay. I'll also have to keep track of the previous elements chain field and I'll have to update it to minus one as well. Okay. Similarly, uh, it's it is similar to a linked list. So, for ex uh, for example, if to delete a particular node, you you keep track of the next field of the previous node, hmm? and then you link it with the next field of the node to be deleted, and then you delete that particular node. So, whenever you have to delete any particular element in the chain, we'll also have to keep track of the previous okay previous element in the chain we'll have to keep track of its chain field so that we can update it so let's see how we'll implement that we'll create a chain delete function where we'll pass the key to be deleted as parameter we'll also have to take the table size and we'll initially calculate a hash value for that. Then we'll check if the element to be searched, that is table of hashes zeroth field, is readily equal to the key. Okay, immediate searching. If it is we'll simply delete that particular record so we'll uh, update this as none and we'll update its chain field to be minus one
or else we'll have to linearly probe till we get a chain okay and then we'll chain search and while doing all of this we'll also have to keep track of the previous element in the same bucket let's also give a message over here that this particular key was deleted key key was deleted from index hash else like we did for the search function we'll make use of these things as well just the case that we'll have to keep a track of the previous elements chain field so we'll initialize it as minus one initially okay instead of initializing it as minus one see the next chain is table of hashes chain field so the previous chain would have been hash only okay so we'll initialize it as this and yes we are searching till we get a uh, an element of the same bucket till then we'll continue searching and for every probing that we're doing we'll uh, we are taking its chain field and we'll initialize the previous chain as the current chain and then we'll go on updating the next chain so every time we probe we are calculating uh, every time we probe we recalculate the hash value and we associate its chain with, as the previous chain and that uh, that chain fields next chain we take it into our chain variable so this is the previous one and this is the next one now if here if our table of hash of 0 turns out to be the key we have to delete that particular record okay so what we'll do we have to uh, delete that particular record which is stored at chain okay chain so table of chain of 0 has to be none and table of chain of 1 will be changed to minus one that way it gets deleted and we have to update the previous chains or uh, chain field right so we'll update it to be p chain okay table of p chain of one okay we we just have to update the chain field is equal to table of chain of one just the way we did in our node structure previous pointer next is equal to node to be deleted pointer next so previous pointer chain is equal to node to be deleted pointer chain okay it's the same thing and we'll just copy and paste this over here and the same thing applies here also when we find that particular key we'll change the current and previous key chains the print statement will also change and each and every time we update our chain to be the next chain we'll keep our previous chain to be the current chain okay so now we'll 
try executing this thing Elif if my character is 3 I have to delete and I just added another condition to my loop this way whenever uh, I have a none value in my table I will not go for searching otherwise it was giving uh, an incompatible types error ok so now we will test everything now we will go for inserting elements first so let's insert 22 then maybe 40 ok 54 42 then 43 then I'll insert 72 then one more uh, maybe 67 okay now I'll go for deleting uh, 42 okay I'll delete 42 okay so you can see 6 which was the next uh, I mean the chain of 72 has been updated as the chain of 22 now we'll go for deleting 67 maybe okay 67 directly deleted then 22 okay done so it's working all right okay so uh I think yeah we've covered col uh, chaining without replacement for insertion searching and deletion so next time we'll see chaining with replacement so for with replacement we'll only have to uh, do some changes in our insert function the search and delete functions will remain the same okay so thank you for watching this video